When it comes to printing numbers on shirts, you want to direct print them rather than use transfers. And the way you direct print, you buy a paper stencil, like this one I'm holding in my hand. These are sold by a, a company called Dalco, which is Dallas Athletic Company. And you can buy different sizes and styles. They have a catalog that explains all that. So you, you buy the paper stencil. And then the next thing you do is you take a Newman uh, frame like this one, and you line the frame on the inside. We used pla uh, plastic that came off a of capillary film. That's it. But you could use wax paper, but you don't use stencil or block out. And you leave a window open that is a little bit smaller than the stencil. Okay, so. What you're going to do is you're going to lay the stencil on the shirt and then you're going to put the screen into the press and when the screen comes down when the screen comes down and you print the ink will go through that entire window but it will only go through the stencil where it's been cut out and that's how you get the number onto the shirt. Now, after you've printed that shirt and you pick up the screen, the ink acts like an adhesive and will literally pick this paper stencil right up off the shirt. The stencil will be on the bottom of the screen. That allows you to remove that shirt, put another shirt on to print the same number. So if you're going to do 10 Little League teams, you want to get an agreement that you're going to use the same color ink for all the shirts. The shirts will be different colors, but the ink will be the same color. That way you can go through and do all the number ones before you go to number two. And you don't have to change ink, it's very simple. Now you might say, why don't I use transfers, heat transfers for these numbers? When that little kid in, second, uh, in the little league slides into second base on his chest, the number is liable to peel off or the shirts going through the wash and dry may cause the transfers to come off the shirt. The transfers have to be done exactly right not to come off. It's very difficult. But when you print ink and you cure it properly, like you're used to curing ink for t-shirts, the ink will survive all that abuse. So the direct print is definitely better than the transfer. What about two color or more colors on numbers? And the answer is don't do it. Uh, because there are problems trying to get the colors to register. There are companies that sell number printing machines and all of these machines use a long narrow frame where the mesh is glued to the frame. It's a stretch and glue frame and if you watch any of our videos we talk against that because when they stretch that mesh it might be tight when they stretched it but when they glue it the sides of the frame are going to bow in from the tension from the mesh the mesh is going to lose substantial tension, uh, more than tw probably 25% or more within two hours. And by the time you get to print, you're going to find there are different tensions at different points in the screen. So if you have a long, narrow screen, there's less tension at the center where there's a greater bow in the side of the frame than there is at the ends where the mesh gets more support. Those uh, multi-number screens don't work well. So it's a waste of money to get a numbering machine. One color, go for the paper stencil. More than one color, go for a transfer and then tell your customer that the transfers may not be as durable. So that's the difference between a one color and a multicolor. When you are finished printing with this paper stencil, you peel it off the bottom of the screen and put it on the belt of your conveyor dryer. In other words, there's going to be ink on this, just cure it. This stencil is good for about three different jobs. Then you'll be throwing it away and using another stencil. So don't just immediately throw them away. You can get quite a bit of use out of a paper stencil. Paper stencils are the way to print numbers on shirts. It's easy. All you need is a one color press. Any questions, give us a call. We'll be glad to help or send an email. It'll be our pleasure to help you. We look forward to talking with you then.